Hello, I'm here today to introduce you to a new design I call an enhancement to a relatively old technology which many radio amateurs in particular have developed over the years uh, called a magnetic loop antenna. The main difference between the enhancement to the antenna which I call a HL magnetic loop or standing for helically wound or helically loaded magnetic loop is the fact that this loop is about 40 to 50 percent smaller in diameter and seems to achieve the same efficiency and operation characteristics as a loop that you see here that is six foot in diameter which would have to be about 15 foot in diameter to produce the results it's producing on both 80 and 40 meter bands. The enhancement is that most magnetic loops use a single conductor which is usually this part is usually a copper tube of some type or a piece of a hard line jacket coax where they use the outer jacket for the conductor. You can't see it in here but it's been painted. It's wrapped with flat copper strap and we'll go into the uh, parts later and what, uh, what that does to enhance the antenna but it's wrapped all the way around in an inductive manner where it raises the inductance of the loop considerably uh, with the uh, wrapping of the fin foil which gives you a great RF skin surface. The tuner mounted here is comprised of a drive motor system, a reversible and forward that turns a high voltage vacuum variable capacitor which tunes this antenna to be a resonant circuit. Just like having a resonant circuit sitting out in your backyard which also enhances your receive capabilities and a very low noise antenna. Now, this antenna is not on a rotor yet although my other one which we'll look at next which is the 20 to 10 meter version the small brother to this one this one is 80 through 30 meters with the two I have continuous coverage from 80 through 10 meter bands uh, this one will shortly have a rotor on it and a rotor adds a uh, large enhancement to this antenna system in both directionality and nulling out electric field near field noise sources with that, we'll walk over to our uh, small version, the small brother, and as you can see, I'm six foot tall. This is about five feet at the base. It could actually be a little bit lower. Another foot or two would not hurt it because it's pretty much ground independent and low angle radiator. Actually, it's a multi angle radiator. The top of this particular loop here is about 11 feet off the ground, but it could be dropped slightly for an HOA type environment. Let's walk over to the other antenna now and we'll take a look at that one. As you can see from some more close-up photos here, this uh, conductor and this antenna has not been painted for per weather protection as the previous one shown that covers 80 through 30 meters. We'll move in here and look at a little bit of detail. We're looking at the tuner here and the uh, tuner is a very important part of the antenna. Very careful construction is involved here. Extremely high voltage capacitor to uh, manage to handle the uh, 15 kilovolts that can be produced across this capacitor at uh, one kilowatt of input, input power. Both these antennas, by the way, handle the full legal limit, 1500 watts. I'm using a drive motor here, as you can see, which is a reversible DC motor and a uh, gearbox and some pulley system. Future plans for this antenna, which I'm working, currently working on, are going to employ a uh, stepper motor system, which will move from band to band relatively quick, quickly. I've uh, <coughs> supported the coaxial cable away from this loop because I am feeding it at the top. And we can get into that a little later, but I want to keep it out of the loop area of the antenna so we're feeding it there and routing the coaxial cable around the uh, high voltage section my way over to the 20 through 10 meter version of this antenna basically the same design this one's on a rotator which uh, really enhances the operation of this antenna this antenna is only 33 inches in diameter from here to here in this octa octagonal shape 
and it's got it employs the same type of a tuning system with a high voltage capacitor and a uh, remote controlled motor system which I'm going to change to a stepper motor system shortly uh, for ease of changing bands and many other reasons but this one you can see the actual uh, copper foil design as it hasn't been painted yet for protection uh, there's pictures available photos of the other one before it was painted and from here we'll go into and we'll show some operations of these antennas excuse my sunglasses here I'm in the hot Arizona Sun it's very uncomfortable and uh, very difficult to uh, film this today but uh, you're going to see some uh, great uh, resolution pictures with the sunlight and we'll walk over here and we will uh, go inside and uh, observe these antennas. The following demonstration relates to the 80 through 30 meter version showing out in the yard in the antenna farm. I'm going to attempt to make a contact uh, with the 40 meter version and just to give you a demonstration of switching antennas I'm going to use a 390 foot off-center fed doublet antenna which is 2.8 full wavelengths long so it has considerable on a gain in certain directions on 40 meters and it'll give you an idea uh, when we get a station on board and we switch antennas of how just how good this six foot diameter magnetic loop my helically loaded loop works uh, QRZ to the uh, Mobile station. Wonder if you're copying Kilo 8 November Delta Sierra K8 MDS Northern Arizona. Hey, uh, Beautiful copy. Uh, uh, MDS G. My name is John. Yeah, was that Don, uh, Delta, Oscar, November? Okay, Don, I still didn't get your call. I'm kind of messing around here, and it's my fault. You're as clear as can be. Your S9 plus 10, sometimes speaking a little over that, a fantastic mobile signal here in Cottonwood, Arizona, located about 100 miles north of Phoenix. Uh, uh, give me your call one more time, please, Don, and I'll get it down this time. Uh, thank you. Yeah, what was your name? Uh, Rich, Radio India Charlie Hotel. Okay, Rich. It's uh, Alpha Alpha 6 Golf Echo A6GE. Uh, okay. Oh, very good. How's my signal there in the mobile, Don? Uh, boy, you got a beautiful mobile signal there. Are you running some power? Yeah, mighty 100 watts, 100 zero zero watts. Yeah, hey, you're about, I guess, 10 over or 15 over. You're really walking in there. Very good. Very good. I've got a couple of antennas I'd like to try if you got a second. Would you mind if I flipped over to a different one to see uh, what the uh, difference is? Yeah, go ahead. You're about 18 dBs over. Okay, now I'm on a different antenna. Same power. Running one kilowatt here, Don. Uh, different antenna. Uh, you see any difference? Yeah, it's weaker. Put the other one back on. Well, that's what I wanted to hear, Don. Very good. A weaker. Uh, uh, would, would you mind, uh, I want to get your permission, would you mind that I use this uh, contact on a YouTube video? No, uh, you hit 20 over that time, so it peaks way up there. Okay, uh, this, this YouTube video is going to be a demonstration of a helically wound uh, magnetic loop antenna. It's my own design, Don. It's called a helically loaded magnetic loop. The antenna that you told me is stronger is six foot in diameter and it is uh, mounted five feet above the ground. That's all it is. Six feet in diameter in an octagon shape, five foot above the ground, and the antenna that I switched to that you said I was weaker on was a 390 foot off-center fed doublet, which is 2.8 full wavelengths, a QSL? Uh, okay. And, uh, what's that, like a big uh, coil? Yeah, it's like a, if, you, if you've ever seen a magnetic loop antenna, 
It's designed like a magnetic loop in an octagon shape, which forms a, a, a semicircle. You might say a, a quasi-circle. And it's loaded. It's wound with copper foil. Uh, it's wound with copper foil for a, a large skin surface area. It's my own design, and I have a website on it, Don, the QSL. Okay, uh a 1kw I'm peaking exactly 1kw and I didn't change the power with either antenna I just switched over they're both resonant so I just switched over antennas uh, when I did the demo that's a uh, 95% of the time that's the uh, answer I get uh, depending on the station's location I do have some real big lobes on this long antenna which once in a while it might be one S unit stronger, only in certain parts of the country. A QSL? Yeah, okay, well, I'll see how well you hear it. I'm running 100 watts. Now we're coming down about uh, 75 watts. And let's see, we're probably down around a little less than 50. Coming on down to maybe 30. And that's probably 5 watts. For five watts and then on now, I don't know if you copy down there and that's down to nothing. Now we're coming back up uh, and there's a full hundred watts. Uh, uh, how much could you copy? Well, that's pretty amazing, Don. Even at five watts, you are still a very Q5 copy, 100% copy, and you are still running an S5 with the preamp off on my 756 Pro 3. My noise level with this antenna is absolutely zero. As far as the S meter shows, it lays right on the pin. So even at five S units, you are completely Q5 with five watts. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, real good. Well, we're running a big custom, uh, big, big Marine Corps high Q uh, vehicle. It's not quite six inches in diameter, five and a half, and a little over a foot. But the top, uh, we've customized it, done some work on the uh, top. Uh, Okay, stand by one second, Don. I'm going to shut this camera off so I don't get a long extended video and have to do too much editing, but I've got a website on hlmagneticloops.com and it's available on my QRZ site. So you go to qrz.com, type in Kilo 8 November Delta Sierra, and there's a link on there that you can take to my webpage, again, which is hlmagneticloops.com. And we're going to put you on the website, Don, as a demonstration of this antenna. And uh, I'm going to shut the camera off. I'll be right back. K8MDS. Hello again. Uh, just to wrap this up, uh, for further information on build techniques and uh, parts availability and detailed instructions on how to build one of these HL magnetic loops for your own amateur radio station, please visit my website at hlmagneticloops.com. It can be accessed easily from my qrz.com page. Go to qrz.com and look up Kilo 8 November Delta Sierra, K8MDS in Cottonwood, Arizona. And you'll see an active link to hlmagneticloops.com. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Uh, this presentation was put together offering this great antenna system for uh, homeowners restricted operators, HOA restricted operations. Very small footprint antennas which if you put together a system like I have, you can cover 80 through 10 meter bands with very, very good performance in a very small area without having to erect a large tower and a beam antenna. And I think you'll be quite surprised at the performance you get from these antennas. Thank you very much, and I will be posting further YouTube videos. Thank you for visiting. K8NDS signing off. See you later.